All right, so I just wanted to quickly go over this problem and uh, derive the formula that I think is the most efficient way of doing it. Uh, so I'm not going to go through all the different examples, but we're just going to look at a couple that I think are going to really help solidify uh, the idea. So what it says is Franny tosses a coin 12 times and gets five heads and seven tails. In how many ways can these tosses result in two runs of heads and one of tails, three runs, four runs, five runs? So I want to just do the first one first, and um, so we can just get the idea. So first of all, we're going to have five heads. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five heads, and we're going to have seven tails. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we're going to have, if we have two runs of heads, if we have, if we have two runs of heads, and and one of tails then that means that all of the tails have to be together right so one example could be something like this and then all the tails and then all the heads right so I think we understand that so the question is, how many ways can this happen? Well, if we think about it, we could just treat the tails as, uh, as one thing, right? So we could just say that this is the same thing. We could say this is the same thing as heads, 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 tails, or I don't want to write, tails, and then heads, heads, right? So, now you could think about where this tails could be, right? Um, you know, the question now is like, how, how many ways can we rearrange this? Well, first of all, let's just think about what we are not allowed to do, right? We can't have this. Tails and then heads. Or, or we can't really have this. So why can't we have this? Well, the reason is because this is just one one string of heads and one string of tails, right? So if we want to figure out a way to calculate this, we have to realize that um, we can only really figure out when there's at least one heads on each side of the tails, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to think of it as in the, in a couple of ways. So first, we want to figure out the number of heads, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the formula, and it's just going to use random variables, or just, just arbitrary variables that we can use to write, write a formula. So I'm going to say m, which is going to equal uh, the number of objects. So in this case, we're going to have five heads. So we five heads. Now we're gonna say that uh, n n is gonna be the number of containers. So what are containers? Well, if you think about it, we could say that each each side of the T is a container, right? So if you have if you have like um, say we have a box like this. Uh, in order for there to be two containers, right, you just need to have one thing, right? So we just need to, if we have that one line, we have containers, we have two containers, like that. So, you know, we could, where we could put the heads, you know, we could have heads, heads, and then heads, heads, heads. So something like this, right? So now what I want to say is that we're going to have another variable, let's call it R, and that's going to equal the number required in each container. Okay? So we know that there has to at least be one in each container, right? We need to have one heads in each container. 
Okay. So, um, so now how are we going to do this? Well, so let's just let's just take our um, our example here. So we already have. So we know we need to have something like this, right? We have heads, heads, tail. Uh, we have a tails here, and then heads, heads, heads. So what we realize is that we already are we're required to have at least one heads on each side, right? So what that really means is that all we need to really worry about is organizing something like this, right? So how many ways can we organize this? So now how do we figure out that? So if we think about this one, this is really just we could say this is either four choose three, which is how many ways can we choose? What are the heads? Or we could say that this is four choose one. So um, we, it doesn't really matter. It's like how many ways can we order the heads, or how many ways can we order the tails? So if we were to write this in as um, I guess in I don't know what the form is, but I guess whatever the standard form of writing them is. So we're just going to quickly look at this again. So we have m objects, right? So, so we would have m would be the number of objects, which is going to be five, right? And then n is the number of containers, right? So we know we have plus two, um, plus two containers, right? So we're going to have the number of containers. Now we realize that here, so. Um, so if we have five objects, that would be five, and then two containers, that's going to give us seven, right? Because like we'd have five plus two, that'd be seven. But because we only need one, one, one thing to give us two containers, we're going to just we're going to subtract one, okay? And then because we have uh, we're required to have a certain amount in each container, uh, we're just going to we have to subtract r which is how many are required in each container times times the the number of containers right and then in our case we could we're going to be choosing we could say we're choosing n right m right we have 5 so we could be choosing m And then uh, we have to subtract the ones that we're we're not going to be using, right? So since we're not using both of the H's, we're not using this H, and we're not using this H, so that's going to be the R minus N. So we're going to subtract R, or sorry, not R minus N, R times N, right? So I hope this makes sense. And now let me just let me just put in the numbers, right? So just so we could remember. Um, so, so so we're gonna have. So we have remember m is five, so that's the five heads, plus n, which remember n is the number of containers, so that's gonna be two. We gotta subtract one because remember we have one less container, one less thing, one less character uh, than containers. And then we're going to subtract r, which is 1, which is required. So 1, and then times the number of containers, which is 2. So now we have that. And then at the bottom, we have m, right? So that's going to be 5 minus r, remember the 1 that's required, times n, which is the number of containers. So that's 2. So if we rewrite this, we would get 5 plus 2 minus 1. So we got 5 plus 2 is 7. Minus 1 is 6. And then minus 2 times 1. So that's going to be 4. And then here we've got 5 minus 1 times 2. So that's going to be 3. And we know 4 choose 3. If we don't remember how that's done, that's going to be 4 factorial. And divided by 3 factorial times 1 factorial. And I'm not going to get into why that is, but that would be a video for another time. 
So that's it for this one. I'm going to explain another example. Oh yeah, let me give you the answer. So that's four ways. And that, if we go back, that makes sense, right? We could have, you know, we could have these four basically. And then we remember there's always going to be a heads on either side, right? So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. And then in the next video, we'll do a little bit more involved example.